Once again, it is snowing. And for some strange reason, they did not cancel school today. Go figure. I'm not sure why I always come in this side of the vehicle first because I can't start it from here. I should order my breakfast first. Be ready when I get there. Tim Horton's up. We'll get it. Thank you. So as we head off to work this morning, I am reminded of a few snowstorms back when I reached out to you guys and asked you, is it the law to clean off your car before you drive down the road? And a lot of you reached out and said yes, or some of you said, well, I don't really know if it is or not, but it should be because there are a lot of idiots out there who don't clean their car off, yet continue to travel down the road with like six or eight inches of snow on the top of the roof or even a thin layer of ice. And when you're going down the highway, it flies off and catches the car behind them. So guys, do your part, clean your cars off. Okay, just do it. It's the right thing to do. Don't be a jerk. So with this Tim Hortons app on your phone, basically what happens is you place your order on your phone and by the time you get there, you walk in, sit on the counter with your receipt and your name on it, and you grab it and go. You should see the looks on the faces of the people sitting there waiting for their orders as they see you just grab and go. And they don't realize maybe that there's an app out there that you can do that, but there is. And I mean, everybody, if you're in Canada, at least in Canada as I know of, I don't think I've ever been into a Tim Hortons where you didn't go in to place your order, especially when it's busy, and have to wait. So there's no waiting. You just as long as you can find yourself a parking space in the, in the parking lot, you go in, grab your order, and away you go. Thank you, Tim Hortons. This is not a sponsored video, by the way, but thank you for that app. Good call. So I recently started watching this YouTuber from Ohio called Rust Belt Mechanic. And I've been watching him over the past couple of videos. And as usual, when I find somebody I like, I interact with them a lot. So I would leave comments and... Uh, so last night, I got a message on Instagram from him saying, well, first of all, that Rust Belt Mechanic started following me on Instagram. Right on. Then I get a private message from him saying, my new video is coming out about, you know, top picks for, you know, different tools or whatever. And so I think you should watch it. You might like it. And I would have watched it anyway. He didn't have to send me the DM. So I watched it and at the very end, he gives me a shout out. And I was like floored. My chin literally was like, and it wasn't short, it wasn't too long after that, that the old, subscribe, uh, the old subscriber count started going up. Pass driven. Uh, so, what the moral of this story is, first of all, I'm, I'm grateful, so grateful that guys like Rust Belt Mechanic and um, Snydertron 3000 and these guys who are giving me a shout out, that I understand that they were once a small channel like me and maybe somebody gave them a shout out too. But anyways, I'm so thankful for that because it tells me that I'm doing something right. And guys, leave your comments down below if you like what I do. I don't always get comments from everybody, but I have my regulars and thanks for those guys. But if you've never commented on any of my videos, I encourage you right now on this one, go down and tell me what you like about this channel. And uh, if there's something more that you would like to see that you're not seeing, that's the place to do it. Tell me, tell me what you like to see. 
Is it more shenanigans? Is it more car repairs? Is it uh, more about the in-depth part of the business? Now keep in mind, when it comes to dealing with customers, there's a privacy act in Canada. I can't just go disclose everything about customers, but I can sometimes walk you through the steps on what it takes to get through a sale. So if there's things that you want to see or things you don't want to see, in the comment section is where I encourage you to talk to me. Tell me what you think. And I can take it. I've said it before. I've got broad shoulders. I'm not afraid to see some criticism in there as well. So because it is a snow day, we've got to get the shop truck out and start plowing the yard before we open up the business. And I know you've seen me plow a hundred times, so I'm not going to bore you with that again. So welcome back to the shop guys. It is the next day. It is Friday and man, what a great day it is today. I don't need mittens. I don't need earmuffs. There's absolutely zero wind. But what we've got to do now is we've got to move all the cars once again, scrape out the snow and put all the cars back where they need to go. So I will just give you a quick update on a couple of vehicles here on the lot just because that's what I usually do. Uh, at least once a week I try and give you guys that update. The 2008 Hyundai Elantra that we took a deposit on, this deal is finally going to happen. So that vehicle will be gone very, very soon. And the 2012 Santa Fe that used to sit here where the Jeep is, well, we took this Jeep on trade for it. So in case you're still counting, we still have one, two, three, four Jeeps. Because last week we sold the 2014 Jeep Compass, the black one, and uh, so that went. We didn't take any trades on that vehicle. And then we sell the Santa Fe and we take another one in on trade for that. So although these Jeeps do seem to be really good sellers for us, uh, we just can't seem to get rid of that brand. So uh, we keep them on the hand. If you guys are looking for a Jeep, look me up. I know where you can get a couple. And the 2013 Chevy Sonic that used to sit here where this empty space is. I actually sold that yesterday as well. So uh, things seem to be picking up a little bit here at the lot and which is, which is good because 2018, as I said before, you know, we struggled with it a little bit, but 2019 is proving to be very, very fruitful. So hopefully it keeps up right into the spring. Uh, we're starting to gain some inventory again. I do have a 2013 Mazda 6 and it is a top of the line model, sunroof, leather, all the goodies, V6. I cannot wait to get this thing back. Uh, that is being delivered to a trucking yard just outside of St. John. So we are going to be heading up there likely tomorrow to pick that up. And I'm gonna bring you guys along for the ride. So it might not show up in this video, but we definitely will be up there to grab that vehicle. So guys, as we wrap up this video, I'm going to encourage you to stay tuned on Thursday evenings, we do our live feed. This week, it's gonna be on Straight Six Fans. As always, his link will be up here. And I encourage you to go over and subscribe to his channel if you haven't already. We do live stream, talk about automotive news. We talk about tips and tricks as far as growing your channel. And we hope that you can come and join in with the chat and get yourself discovered and discover others to help build your channel as well. Guys, t-shirts and hoodies are still available at bonfire.com. That link is the first link in the description box below. I hope you can go over there and help support the channel in another way and sport yourself some very own Old Car Auto Guy merch. Guys, I really appreciate everything that you're doing for this channel. We are well over 700 subscribers, I think as of the recording of this video at about 741. So let's get to 800 and then to 1,000 real quick, guys. Really, really appreciate it. So if you haven't done so already, go down and click that subscribe button, hit that bell, and Give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think I am doing with this channel. Hopefully I can improve it a little bit better for you guys. Stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I'm gonna wait for this truck to go by because it's got some loud tires. <laughs> so guys, once again, stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you guys, God bless. Let's do this again in the next video.